Hi everyone, welcome back to this um, SDLC course. In this course, in the previous sessions we discussed about high level SDLC phases, requirement gathering, analysis phase, design phase. In this section, we are going to talk about development and coding. What is the goal of this phase? The goal of this phase is to develop the software by writing software programs or writing a code based on the approved designs and that are in the design phase. So in the design phase, we have database design, integration design, application design, infrastructure design, right? These uh, designs are approved in the previous phase. Those will become the inputs for this development coding, development or coding phase. Okay, who are involved in this phase? Developers are uh, the people who actually performs the work or coders and lead developer of developers. If you look back in the design phase, lead developer and architect are involved. In the development and coding phase, only developers and lead developer or developers are involved based on the, as we discussed, size. Is a small application or medium application or a large application. In in my experience, for small applications, there will be a uh, few developers and one team lead. In medium application, there will be couple of leads, uh, you know, and a uh, lot of developers uh, for uh, each uh, application uh, yeah, under each lead. If we go back and take our example for banking application, assume that uh, if to provide the functionality based on our requirements, one one lead and two or three developers should be sufficient. Okay, just to scope you guys. Uh, I worked in a project where there are eight lead developers and around hundred uh, uh, developers and eight lead developers. Okay, the scope uh, on all these things are designed uh, based on the how we categorize the the project generally projects are up when this kind of effort is going on they will be categorized small means uh, okay this many hours medium means this many hours large means this many hours uh, and budget also varies based on the uh, size of the application what is the process of development or coding in the process is first step is take the approved designs and always it is better in my experience uh, to review the designs whatever we dis uh, whatever happened in the previous phase uh, all these designs with the development team with the developers so that developers are aware of what what is what is the design if they have any questions before they start working or they start writing programs or they start coding better to clarify the designs if they have any questions better to address all those why uh, you know based on the approved functional and non-functional requirements why the design is being done in in such a way it's always uh, uh, better if you have a open mind this lead developer have a open mind and good attitude sometimes a, though the require the design is um, approved there can be few changes or it can still be improved there will be some small developers who may suggest that why it you know it, it was designed like that why can't we take this route so there will be always smart people it's uh, always good to have a positive attitude for a lead developer to be open uh, for any recommendations or suggestions and also they need to show some leadership skills um, to uh, just uh, explain the design to the users i think uh, this is also lead developer is also the way i look out with my experience is also another role who is having more experience there is it is not hierarchy uh, hierarchical means developer can always in the it industry uh, override the uh, lead developer design but it has to be in a, a positive and uh, harmonic environment it should not be you know in a contesting or it should not be in a, a difficult discussion it has to be a pleasant uh, discussions okay 
these discussions are cool so this is called uh, when uh, the lead developer uh, is reviewing the designs with the develop development team uh, that helps both the lead developer to reiterate why they design and for the development team to uh, understand the design principles what they uh, what are um, based on what they design okay and in, this is the actual crux of the hdlc right if we go back actual work is being done here it is like um, uh, construction of a house if we take in the construction of a house uh, we go and say that we want a, a two floor house with uh, four bedrooms and uh, two bathrooms and uh, you know two bathrooms and whatever the requirements we have in the design is nothing but a blueprint on the paper the architect will design this development is nothing but the people who actually construct the house so in the software development also it is like this this development is nothing but the actually the team the developers who are actually writing the program so writing the program to make sure it works the input for these uh, developers are as discussed approved design designs and during this there will be lot of back and forth between lead developers and developers lot of discussions and lot of reviews of the code what they are developing code reviews are one of the important things to make sure the quality of the uh, code or development yeah is done properly okay the deliverables uh, let's move on to the um, deliverables deliverables what is the deliverable what are the deliverables for this um, development or coding phase or completed software development excuse me completed software development or uh, coding uh, completed the coding part means the application if we go back to the banking example so uh, these developers based on this design wrote the code or programs in such a way that when the user enters username password and uh, hits the button if the user is having a bank account it, uh, the application the code will perform the go to the database and get the information do whatever the logic it requires to show to the actual business user their account balance the all that heavy lifting or the actual core crux of the work will be done by this uh, developers in this phase okay so the develop uh, the deliverables are completed software development with some unit testing means uh, this is a, always a good practice when a developer writes a code if they can test it that will be really helpful so that uh, you know if we can eliminate the bugs and and also it is always better to have a code reviews se set up with the peer developers or with the lead developer based on the availability and other things so the uh, deliverables are completed software development means completed coding or completed um, completed the programming efforts and they are also reviewed according to some standards there will be a lot of standards when people are writing the program or code there will be a lot of standards like uh, how to name the class or name the program how to write the comments when people are writing the program so that it will be useful for maintaining the code okay uh, this is the development or coding phase or implementation phase at the uh, high level we can call this thank you see you in my next video